Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and that you're having maybe some baking fun or you've been experimenting with some foods and stuff. Um, I have had a pretty good week actually. I'm pretty happy. First of all, we hit 100 subscribers. Like, what? That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. I can't actually believe how quick that's come around. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. Thank you to friends and family for your support. I just, oh, I'm so thankful. And I just want to say special thanks to my sister. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Mark. Because <laughs> I know you guys watch. So thank you. <laughs> and thank you for your suggestions, Hannah. Hannah, I will be uh, doing as much of those as I possibly can. Um, so that was like an amazing start. So oh, well, it was like a couple of days ago. So that was amazing. Um, and then... I've been doing lots of baking. I've had some fantastic cakes. So go check out my TikToks because that's where all those are right now. Um, so yeah, it's just been a really good week. Um, I've had my hair done. <laughs> so that's looking good. And I hope you like my hat. If it's going to stay on my head. <laughs> um, anyway, so let's get to the video. So this week we are doing mince pies. And we're also making the mince meat from scratch, which I've not actually done in a long long time so that was a bit of a oh but it ended up being a super easy and super delicious way to do the uh mince pies so let's have some fun and see what mince pies we can make let's start off our journey on mince meat <laughs> with the ingredients so we have got our raisins our these are actually uh sultanas but it's supposed to be currants but i couldn't get any we've got a bramley apple which we've had to dice up we need to make sure that this bramley apple is the same size as everything else so it's not too big or chunky we've got the brandy which which the smell was so strong that it made me almost drunk <laughs> i swear the truth was so <laughs> my little nutcracker he's not part of the recipe he's just super cute <laughs> uh then we've got dark brown sugar we've also got the suet now suet you can get in either beef form or vegetable and i went with the vegetable so this is good for vegetarians um and then we've got some lemon zest some mixed peel um we've got nutmeg which i've actually grated so you want to get the whole nutmegs and then some lemon juice so that is everything you're going to need for the mincemeat great hey it's super easy so first things first is you're going to put the uh, raisins and currants or sultanas whichever you have either's fine uh, in a bowl and then you're going to pour in the brandy and then you're going to pour in the lemon juice and you're going to let that sit i'm going to stir it up a little bit just to make sure that everything's covered in that juice um, and then you're going to let it sit for about an hour. So it's a little bit of a waiting game, but that's fine. Luckily, with the power of editing, I can quickly get through this and we'll get to the next step. So <laughs> there's no waiting in this video. And then as you can see here, we are now draining that juice and I am doing it in the most cack handed way. <laughs> Uh, draining this juice, I'm sure there's probably an easier way of doing it, but hey-ho. And we're going to save that for later on. So it should be just those uh, raisins and sultanas in there now. Uh, once that's done, you're going to dump in all the rest of the ingredients. So the sugar's going in, um, and I'm taking my sweet time here. Then the suet, which again, is such a weird thing. So it's just so squeezy like. <laughs> so that's going in now. And then we're going to add in the mixed peel. Oh, the, uh, the apple, sorry, the apple first, then the mixed peel. And then we've got the um, zest. Uh, oh, there's the zest there. And also the nutmeg's gone in. So that's all our ingredients together. This is super easy. And then we're going to mix it all together um, until it's all covered. All mixed together look it's starting to look like the minced meat that we know and love <laughs> and then once it's all mixed we're going to pop that juice back in uh give it another mix um and it should look something like this looking pretty good so while i was in the range the other day i bought these two jars because i want to store these um i'm actually giving one of them as a present so this is something that if you're trying to save a bit of money um you could do jars of mince meat as presents to people um it'd be really cute in a hamper maybe um so that's what i'm just doing here is just um jarring up these two um and then i'll put the rest in a bowl which i'll use for our mince pies so you've got a fair amount of mince meat there it's quite a lot i am so messy though look at me <laughs> and these are good for six months so these are good until may because i yeah pretty much may yeah um so i've popped a best before date on there to be safe 
and there we have it that is our mincemeat done and dusted so easy no cooking involved we love it <laughs> a bit messy but that's fine <laughs> i don't mind mess so now we're going to move on to our mince pies so we're going to make the pastry so we've got our plain flour and then we've got the cold diced butter which i'm just adding in and then you have the very tedious task so make sure you've got something playing on your ipad or on your phone of um rubbing the butter with the flour until you get kind of like a bread crummy consistency this took me about seven minutes and also what was really bad is i damaged my uh wrist at work the other day so it was really painful uh then we're going to add in our golden caster sugar and then we're going to start kind of clumping it together to form a dough ball so again this is going to take a little while and i was getting a bit restricted in the bowl so i've just dumped everything onto my clean surface make sure your surface is clean um and then we're going to start putting this all together and just making it not crumbly <laughs> and we do get there eventually um so you're just giving it a bit of love bit of need um and then we should be able to start rolling out and cutting things out i love mince pies i think mince pies are probably the quintessential christmas dessert for me i always have to have at least two mince pies and some cream um, otherwise it's just not christmas <laughs> um i probably because i used to i think i used to make it with my grandma so it's like a, a food memory for me and it's just always reminding of love and family i just love it um but we're going to roll it out now and i've used the technique of rolling it between two parchment sheets because i don't want to add any more flour and then i have got these fantastic silicone cupcake uh, cases because I, I remember one year i ended up having to throw out my tin because they had just solidified to <laughs> to the cupcake tin and then i got some silicon uh, cupcake cases instead because it makes life so much easier um so i'm just popping in the dough for the bottom and i'm adding a little bit extra dough at the just at the base just so that there's a little bit more stability there because i was a little bit worried it was a bit too thin um, and then i'm adding the mincemeat and because i'm using these cupcake cases it means that they are deep mince pies they are you know you can put a lot a lot of mince meat in there and you're going to get some decent sized mince pies um so that's always a good thing now we've got the rest of the dough and we're going to add the toppers so i've just flipped my little cutter on the other side so i get this cute little kind of frilled effect around the edge and then i'm just popping them on top um and then just pressing down a little bit around the edges just to make sure that they're all sealed and then we're going to add our egg wash just to kind of finish them off and give a lovely golden color to them while they're cooking and then we're going to pop them in the oven for 20 minutes so don't take um, any time at all i'll pop the temperature for the oven on the screen there for you and they come out this gorgeous golden brown and look how easy that was to pop out of the cupcake um tin literally they're amazing these cases i love them and look at that cut oh perfect pastry to mincemeat ratio because sometimes i worry that it's going to be too dry <laughs> um, i picked up these christmas cases from the range so if you're interested and then i'm just transferring them in there so that because i'm gifting a lot of these to um, some friends um, i'm going to make sure that they're nice and secure in their little houses of cases <laughs> i have no idea what i'm saying <laughs> um but they're literally coming out so easy there's no mess there's no stickiness i just really recommend using those cases and there you have it a dozen gorgeous super yummy mince pies and i think they look amazing and i'm definitely gonna eat lots of them and there we have it delicious scrummy mince pie homemade with that homemade mince meat absolutely delicious um, I've had quite a few already and I've been giving them away to people so I hope they're enjoying those ones um, but this is actually delicious um, I was really really happy with how good the mincemeat turned out I was a little bit worried even though it was only 100 ml of that brandy it was such a strong smell <laughs> like the whole kitchen smelled like brandy and I was getting a little bit drunk a little bit if that makes i don't know it was just was very very strong so um but yeah no absolutely loved it um you can't really you can't taste the brandy once it's been cooked because obviously when you cook it it like cooks that alcohol out a bit um but no this was delicious and i thoroughly enjoyed it i'm not going to eat it on camera because it's a bit flaky and it'll go everywhere <laughs> But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this a go. Honestly, I really, really recommend it. Um, and see what kind of um, mince pies you can come up with. Maybe have little designs and stuff. I couldn't find my uh, my Christmas cutters. I've got a horrible feeling that I accidentally may have thrown them out when I redecorated in here. But 
it's fine it gives me an excuse to go to the range and get some more <laughs> um but please please have fun with this and let's see what i'm going to be doing next week i think i'm thinking cheesecake next week um uh, i've been given quite a few terry's chocolate oranges recently so maybe a terry's chocolate orange cheesecake but yeah I'm very, very happy with these mince pies. They turned out amazing. So if you liked this video, please, please give it a thumbs up. It means the world. And if you find that you're coming back every week, and you like Where's Charlie's videos, why not subscribe if you haven't already? It, honestly, I, I still can't believe we hit 100. I'm absolutely flabbergasted. <laughs> uh, and so, so thankful. Really, really thankful. So yeah. Uh, join our baking family and have some fun with us because <laughs> that's what we're here for <laughs> but yeah have a fantastic week rest of the week i do apologize for that, that the fact that this was delayed today work this was just yeah work has been nuts lately we've had a dunnell move recently uh open up next to where i work and it has just boomed business so which is great for the company that i work for but Oh, I need more time, more hours in the day. That'd be great. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week and I will see you guys soon. Bye.